this tutorial we're going to be demonstrating some of the other tools and uh, abilities you've got in the STL slicer software for uh, manipulating and slicing models. So let's go and open a file. We're going to open this California STL. Uh, this is a Ferrari model that I got off of grabcad.com. And uh, let's first start by orienting it. Uh, I'm going to position it so that the side of the car is facing the Z direction. So that's the direction I'm going to begin working with. And then let's scale this. We know that X axis is the length, so let's make it, let's say, 24 inches long. So we've got the model there scaled and oriented. So let's move on to the slicing plane here. So in some instances, when you're trying to create a model like this for output, you need to separate items from the model. So in this case, I want to take these wheels off and I want to make them separately from the rest of the car. So I'm going to need to actually cut those wheels off. So I can rotate the model here so I can move my slicing plane so that it's behind those wheels. And I then can just cut the whole side of the car off with the wheels. But this doesn't quite, you know, accomplish what we need to do. I want to separate those wheels from the side of the car here. So I'm going to zoom in on this model of the side of this car and we're going to spin our slicing plane 90 degrees. And I'm going to go ahead and turn off my undercut angle for now just to keep the blue from distracting me. And then let's move this slicing plane here. So we're cutting off this part of the wheel well. We can kind of tilt that to get as much as we can out of there. Let's go ahead and cut that piece off there. So we end up with just a section of the back of the, the uh, car here. And then we've got the remaining model. So let's go ahead and keep cutting that wheel out. I come over here, cut the other piece, and let's just tilt this some more. And just position your slider, your slicing plane, so that it keeps removing all that material around that wheel. And what we're going to be doing with these, these pieces is we can drag them and actually reattach them back to the car there. To the other model. So essentially we can remove that section there and then build the other piece back up and then reattach all of that back together. So let's tilt this and finish getting this removed. And sometimes it takes a few slices to get the piece fully removed off. Eventually you get all of the pieces removed and then you reattach the whole side of the car. And we've got our wheel totally separate. So now it's a separate model that we can then output. So we go back to the car here and we can cut the front wheel off as well. So now we've got the wheels removed from the side of the car and we can actually then drag this whole thing back to the rest of the model and reattach that whole thing now without the wheels. So now we're free to slice that car up without those wheels on it. So we do the same thing to the other side and then slice this model up in whatever way makes the most sense for 
however we're going to output it.